Kathmandu Valley in central Nepal is an ethnically diverse region with rich culture. Legend has it, the valley was once a lake which was emptied out by a Buddhist saint to allow for human settlement. And after this, the Newar people, the original inhabitants of the valley, lived for centuries in a thriving cultural melting pot until the civilization was overturned in the 18th century. The language of Newars is called Nepal Bhasha, and today, Newars are at the cusp of losing their language and heritage. If Nepal Bhasa will cease to exist, what would happen to its culture? What would happen to the Newar people? According to the Buddhist scripture, a bright lotus appeared on the lake. The lotus attracted a lot of pilgrims, including Manjushri, a Buddhist saint from China. He then cut a slit in the hill, drained the lake, and created what we now know as Kathmandu Valley. One can still see the gorge in Chobar, nine kilometers southwest of Kathmandu. A stupa was erected where the lotus appeared and is now called Swayambhu Mahachaitya. Nepal Mandala was the original name of the valley. The city named Kathmandu, originally the name of that city used to be Nepal Valley, or the historical name of that Nepal Valley was Nepal Mandala. So the people of Nepal Mandala are known as the Newar people. They have their own language, they have their own script, they have their own culture, they have their own tradition, they have their own ritual activities. Once we think about Nepal, there always comes Newar people in the first place. The <laughs> melting pot importance of the Newar or recognize of the Newar as a culture and art. Wherever you see, if you go to the Kathmandu Valley, all the temples and all the monastery, all the art and wood carving, stone carvings, and, and also the especially the tankas as well, the pauva, they are all very well-known art in Nepal. So that's all done by the Newar people. Newars flourished in trade, industry, and agriculture, but they were mostly known for the exceptional craftsmanship. And nowhere is this skill more apparent than in the seven World Heritage Sites of Kathmandu Valley. Until today, there are seven sites. They have been already recognized as a World Heritage Site by the United Nations UNESCO. Those all seven World Heritage Sites were made by Newar artists. So that is undeniable kill of Newar people. UNESCO recognizes and protects some of the world's greatest cultural and natural sites. The organization identifies areas of outstanding universal value, and these sites become global heritage sites. First is the humanity. Kathmandu Valley was an important landmark on the trade route between India and Tibet. 
It is most likely that Newars are a mixed race between Indians and Tibetans, and the language is a subdivision of the Tibeto-Burmese language family. Whereas Nepali, the national language of Nepal, is a subdivision of Indo-Aryan. जी धर्म ही दुनिया नेवार देव धर्म ने कहा डायबल तो हिंदू धर्म जगह ना मगो तो बुद्धिस धर्म ना जगह मगो जी साथ में शुरू में जैसे जैसे सो चुगरियां परंपरा ने अच्छी याना वही दुर्गा ले नेवार धर्म ने कहा डायबल थाना गुली ना मनु टा ऐसे ना पियूं जाए याना उन्हें इबिन दुगो वो किस्मत सो माने सब सबेता ही दुनिया सो जाएं देवमागो मानसिक भावना देवमागो सो मानवता चीन नेवाटे ही दुनिया दो ओके नेवाटे ठोक जाएं सुसास के जुआ जाएं बिकसे जुआ वो का As the Newar society developed, the community became divided into castes and caste hierarchy, which became their identity. The last name of a person revealed their background. For example, people who made utensils out of metal got the last name Tamrakar. While farmers became Japu and priests became Bajracharya and Rajubadha. <laughs> Newars have a ritual of creating a birth chart for a newborn, which in Nepal Bhasha is known as Zato. Zato is a life and body chart, and it is used to predict important occasions in a Newar person's life. <laughs> Zato serves many purposes, from birth to marriage to old age and all the way to death. Newars have various life cycle rituals. This reminds them of the changes in their lives and teaches them to gracefully accept and bind them to their culture and religion. Elaborate food culture goes hand in hand with the festivities in Newar culture. They have a saying that the days of festivities exceed the number of days in a year. This may be impractical to follow in the world we live today, but even the significant ones are reduced to an unwanted chore. इकोनॉमिकल प्रॉब्लम ना जी फू। पंगे ने सही सा दक्षिण सासा विभिन्न दक्कों ने थाना प्याफले तो को वन माल लगा दला सत्याशी गई न्याशुनी मुखो नेव जाए सासाओ नेव अर्थात ये को क्या लो रिडू चीज तो वह फैक डू चीज तो जाए नेव जैसे मेनर पर इसमें लम मगर अलग ठठाया ग्वारा जी को लोनी जो अलग one of the most popular aspects of Newar culture is the worship of Kumari or a virgin girl. Kumari is a living goddess. 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 The Royal Kumari of Kathmandu Darwar Square is believed to be the incarnation of Goddess Taleju. The chosen child remains Kumari until she menstruates, after which supposedly the goddess vacates her body unto the next one. जैसे नहीं चार वर्षांसी, पार वर्षों तक 
Kumari <laughs> जैसे नहीं professional computer system में अच्छा वो self software developer रूपन जाएँ सुनो। Tradition of Kumari is very very unique in Nepalese culture, especially for the Newar people. So in the media circle these days you can see a Kumari chariot that is pulled together with Ganesha and Bhairava during the period of uh, Indra Jatra or the Yaya Puni. Indra Jatra, Jatra meaning procession in Nepal Bhasha, inaugurates the season of Newar festivities. It is dedicated to God of Rain and Ruler of Heaven, Indra. During the festivities, Indra's pet, Pulukisi, the white elephant, runs around the city to look for his master. Other gods and goddesses are also represented by mass dances of deities. Madipalaki, a demon dance, is one of the many highlights of the grand festivities. Indra Jatra festivities in 1768 was a dark day in Newar history. There was a time when King Prithvi Naransha invaded the valley to unify Nepal and established Kathmandu as the capital. This was the beginning of the suppression of the Newar heritage. Shahs were disrupted by Ranas in 1846, who overthrew the governing royal palace. Ranas feared that people would revolt, and hence oppressed all those who opposed them, especially the Newars. Since Kathmandu became the capital, Nepali became the national language, forcing Newars to adapt. <laughs> ก็การนั้นเนี่ยว่าจะทําถอยแบบมาเลยสิเมียวแบบแล้วจะลงสุริจะจะสุดเมียวสุดสุดละเนปาลีเนี่ยราชประชาชนชาวเบื้องแบบ
नेवा पहले जिन इंग्लिश वर्ड तो तय जिन वास हाइलाइट है ना जिन खाली आउट जुड़ी हैं जिन उके है ना जिन नेवा पहले कम जुड़े हैं सों ची मस्त है ता इसलिए आखा बंजे माँ उगा ना ही ना नेपाली तो ये जैसे नेपाल है जिन्दो भी नेपाली अम्मी वो पहले है नेपाली अम्मी वो जैसे प्यास बुझा रही है लॉस वार का जैसे या वो याद नहीं अल्लाह अम्मी वो टर्मन रही है इन्हों टर्मन का गोपति काई टू रही था उगे ये ना जैसे था मस्त है था वो कथा एडजस्ट है वो याद है the language is dying. Newa people consider that to make the Newa language survive will not be fruitful for the future because of the lack of commercial value. But a lot of scholars from outside Nepal, they have come down to Nepal to study the Newa language because Newa language consists of so much unique linguistic feature that is not available in any other languages of the world. हाँ ये वर स्टडी ला ये वाव ऐसे को क्या ये मेरे यहाँ जो दे हम अच्छे तो गुन्से हो नर्सरी से हमारे किन्नर गार्डन से हमारा ये हमारे है लव नेपाली बंकी उली है जो क्या उसे हम आओ जो ला छोवे तो बासन शिक्षा क्या माओ अलग जांच भी वो सान है जाइए छोवे बासन तो जांच भी माओ रोजगारी वाले इंसान भी वहाँ से न छोवे बासन से जान जी माओ वो बहन मौसा लगा लासा रोजगारी लगे मरे हो शिक्षा नंबर क्या मुफ़े पास जी मुफ़े फेल जी हो यो कारण है ना सुला निवाद ऐसा न थोड़ी चें थोड़े बहन मलाब शे अन्य बहन लाकी उसे इंजेक्शन In 1905, during the reign of Rana Prime Minister Chandra Shamsher, Nepal Bhasha was banned from court of justice and administration, and the language of Newars was given the term Newari. Historically, there have been notable figures who have defied the oppressive regime. They laid the foundation of modern Nepal Bhasha by reviving the language and its literature. In the 1940s, prominent figures were even jailed for raising their voices. In 1951, 105 years of Rana regime was overthrown, but Nepal Bhasha did not come back into use. Nepali continued to prevail as a dominant language. UNESCO has listed Nepal Bhasha as definitely endangered, which means children no longer learn the language in their homes. It is also estimated that by the end of the 21st century, 90% of the world languages may be replaced. Today, 473 languages are classified as endangered, and linguists claim that every 14 days, a language dies. Pasai itu culture orang makan tadi, culture itu pasai makan dia dia tu. Pasai tu mana macam orang sana, sanskriti tu pasai makan tadi. Wo pasai mata tak ada lah sa, sanskriti mata, sanskriti mata tak. Wo wo zat mata ni. What can be done to prevent this culture and language from dying? जो स्कूल जो ना सरसों जो बोरिंग हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल जी तो नेवा बाई को खोले हुआ जी तो नेवा बावा इंग्लिश बावा हिंदी बावा नेपाली बावा ठाउ पैर ठाउ संस्कृति जैन तो तो मजूर सुरास्ते तो ना खाओ वरास्ते वों पैर से क्या माला माला अरे वही उठाओ यो तो मात्र पास आलम हो समझते नहीं आमने ना बट ही मुक्त नहीं आज ही कोठार दिल्ली सुनाया संसार ना पकाना है वो तो इस प्रविधि दे दिया ला संसार गठित जब तुम जोन से सांस शेख खाने दूँ तो संसार है फुकों से वो ला मोहनी फुकों से विभिन्न से पाठ आ रहे निवार्त ऐसा हो ठाठा Timla bhabba, timla bhabba, papa chuna la Chanta bachi da bachi inna ke Tika achi phukku mila jaya, nyewa nyewa mila jaya Nyewa sangthane balla ki maa udu Sangthane bambula asa gyaam gyaam maada yaka bokana yaran jiwa boko Aji Khenate wasa nyewa hanlak de di tita wa Nyewa bhaa laata ka dhu aana Cha te mi te na yaka dhu aana Inna yo ma yo boko किसान यह मुख्य रूप में किसान ही ना लेकिन पाव उसमें किसान बल्लग को चला तो बैल ले जाएगा न्यू आवाज़ चला जाएगा। How can a culture, language, and civilization be preserved when it must compete against the challenges of modern times? परंपरा करना लिमाड़ है वो 100 परसेंट है ना लिमाड़ा समूह 
गले राशा ची जाने वाले टूटी शिला लाडू टूटी शिला जाने वाले नहीं जी से लाडू शिला लगा जाना नहीं होगा लाइनें चीज़ आने होगा नहीं लाडू टूटी शिला ने वाले बैगा निकटा दो चीर सरीर इधर फायदा जी तो वो से ना पुना भी मनु लेजे पिनी वो ना वो इबले वो पिनी पुना वो ना उपदेव वो सब पिना ही जाने ही मोह चीज़ है और जो जो बाबा लाओ चुनो तब तो डा थे वो चीज़ है ना लिमा तेरा वो यहाँ बाइक बाबी मलाओ चुनो चीज़ है जैसे चीज़ है युवा यंत्र है माँ तेरा वो इधर चीका है माँ One way to keep a culture alive is to practice the authentic and traditional methods. Handcrafted work has become the essence of Noir culture that connects them to their past. In Kokona, a small Noir village outside Kathmandu, one can find a sliver of indigenous history. This lost art of making mustard oil by hand has been part of Noir culture since they settled in the valley. Apart from its uses in cooking, mustard oil is good for curing various skin conditions. Only two decades ago, about 150 villagers worked in these oil mills, but now only five villagers have this job. Culture preservation goes beyond Nepal as Newars across the globe are finding creative and unique ways to hold on to their culture. Since 1975, Eugene, Oregon has been a sister city to Kathmandu. An old Newar-style water tap marks this historical tie with Kathmandu. And in Portland, Oregon, a Buddhist bihara was built to spread Newar culture and dance, as well as various aspects of Buddhism from around the world. We just built a bihara here in Portland. Bihara is a Buddhist teaching school. It's called the Mahabhyara, which means like the university in the old days. We're teaching the Buddhism, we're teaching the practice, we're teaching the meditation, we're bringing the other different teachers to talk about the Dharma things. And especially what we do here is dance. Dancing is very, very significant. Without dancing and without singing, there's no liberation. culture and art, if we bring to the world and teaching more to the people, they want to learn more about the language. People love this kind of thing. And if they connected with the deepest connection, then they will learn language too. ตัวนี้ที่ชุบที่กันเอาไว้ที่ตัวสังคมชีวิตเราโอ้โหบาดเจ็บอย่างนี้เจ้าหนูว่าเด็ดยูจินดันส์ดูจะสมมุติอยู
वेगु साले नू साले चीज़ है यार तीनों छूने जा जो तो सफल जीवन आते हो काम नहीं है ना था यु दुनी ईश्वरी तो प्रार्थना है ना पूजिया वाला ये सुरुजो का उच्चार आसे फुक्शिना आगु वेगु साले था यु कार्य सिद्धि जीवन आते हो किसी में था था यु आत्म पूजा ये वाला ये चीज़ है स्थापना है ना � जीत होगा, जी अमेरिका वासन निवाय हो, संदेश वासन निवाय, पार्ले वासन निवाय, जापान वासन निवाय, जी निवाय हो रही है थोड़ा लोग बंगी मुझे, तो कौन है जो ज्ञान उन कह रहे हैं नीचे छेपी है जो निमान दे मरो, तो कुछ ऐसे बयान नहीं हो, तो ठमो कोई उचित थाव चें तुम क्या है, थाव चें तो तू � संस्कृत वाले मजो जीन जिदाल लोगों के मजो When we imagine a world without cultural diversity, it is difficult to imagine everyone speaking the same language and following the same trend of culture. Nawars believe a sense of belonging is essential for everyone. Having a connection with your roots extends the longevity of one's culture and history. Culture and language is viewed as the highest expression of humanity. Art and architecture can be preserved, but preservation of intangible culture like language, ritual festivities, and cultural norms requires community participation. Culture diversity is important. Each time you lose a language or culture, we lose an irreplaceable way of being. It starts with the young, so even though they do not speak fluently for daily life, but at least they know how to read and write is more essential. Anyone who lives outside Nepal, they can still do the celebration of New Year, traditional pujas, birthdays, those can be performed anywhere even though they live outside Nepal. So that makes the new generation aware that, look, this is our tradition, look, this is our customs, so we can follow. The opening for you is to get the connections, learn more things. We have uh, so many thousands of thousands of different cultures and art, but you need to be connected with the deeper into your body. Live as Newa, Newa Chi, Newa Ji. That's why the slogan is very, very uh, commonly used in the Newa people. So Newa Chi, Newa Ji. We the Newa people live like Newas forever. Bye.